Introduction to the Strongest Journey to the World System Upon waking up, Lin Fan traveled to the world of deer and cauldron, obtained the journey to the world system, and began his path to becoming a god. Chapter 1 Drinking and Drinking Fragments to Travel Through Time You are listening at NovelFull.audio Name Lin Fan Gender Male Age 19. Combat Power 5. Weapon Currently Unavailable Points 0. World Deer and Cauldron World, Next World, Waiting to Open, What? Lin Fan was a bit confused. He didn't expect that the broken jade ring, which cost several tens of yuan, that he had found in the second dot hand antique market, could emit a huge illusory light curtain in front of him. Where am I? Looking away from the light curtain and looking around, Lin Fan became even more confused. On one side is a lush forest, and on the other side is a flowing river. And directly ahead, there is an ancient city pool, with a continuous stream of pedestrians on the post road. Have I traveled through time? Lin Fan is a bit speechless, can he travel even after drinking and breaking into pieces? Master, welcome to the world of, Deer and the Cauldron. I am System Security and I am glad to serve you. Just as Lin Fan was lost in thought, a beautiful girl's voice rang out in his mind. System. It's a standard feature for the protagonist. As a blue star of the 21st century, Lin Fan naturally has read many novels. For time travel, the Golden Finger system is not unfamiliar. The owner has a beginner's gift package. Do you want to open it? Square root, times dot. Open it. Lin Fan excitedly said, poking his finger and clicking on the small hook on the light screen. Ding. The beginner's gift pack has been opened. Congratulations to the owner for obtaining. Third-rate martial artist's cultivation, five years of skill, combat power 250, one million points. In addition, Ananan will also give the owner an additional beauty repair pill. Third-rate martial artist's cultivation. Is that all? I thought the beginner's gift package would offer some amazing things. However, let's just be third-rate. In the world of deer and the cauldron, I can barely be considered to have the ability to protect myself as long as you don't provoke super experts at the boss level, there's basically no big problem. More importantly, he now has a system where he can earn points and improve his strength by completing tasks. It's not just a matter of minutes. By the way, points can be drawn and exchanged for items. Thinking of this, Lin Fan immediately called up the lottery interface. It doesn't matter if you don't look, you'll be dumbfounded at first glance. Surprisingly, drawing a prize requires 1 million points. The points given in the beginner's gift package are only enough for him to draw once forget it, let's see what can be exchanged. Lin Fan immediately called up the redemption interface and looked dumbfounded again. Everything is very comprehensive, from the Xian Yuan Divine Sword to underwear, it can be said that there is everything. However, good things are outrageously expensive, with only 1 million points, which is not enough for extravagance. By the way, what kind of thing is this beauty repair pill? Lin Fan asked the system. Considering the average appearance of the owner, this is a special gift from an end to the owner. After taking it, the owner can transform into a super handsome guy. As the owner of the system, appearance must keep up with the times. Anan replied calmly, not telling Lin Fan that she is a super beauty controller. Can you exchange something for a gift? I need something like the Luo Jin Dan, specifically something that can enhance my strength, Lin Fan said calmly. Appearance is just an external thing, strength is the foundation of everything. Besides, he was already very handsome, so there's really no need to become even more handsome. Regarding this, system security only replied with four words. Love or not. Come on, extra gifts, don't waste them. Lin Fan felt a burning and piercing pain on his face as he took the pill to repair his appearance. 
He walked out of the small forest to the riverbank and looked at the water surface. Sword eyebrows and starry eyes, a high and erect nose bridge, familiar facial contours becoming more distinct, a head of black hair hanging down, a reliable male god. Good looks are enough, but what about strength? Lin Fan is well aware that the world is filled with danger everywhere, and with more strength, there can be more security. Thinking of this, he directly communicates with the system. System, give me the best solution. Spend all one million points and try to improve my combat effectiveness as much as possible. Anand suggests that the owner spend points to directly improve their skills and exchange them for a weapon. Upon hearing this, Lin Fan called up the skill exchange interface. Skill exchange. 10,000 in the first year, 20,000 in the second year, 30,000 in the third year, and so on. Upgrade your skills by 10 years first. Lin Fan directly exchanged it. 550,000 points were spent, and suddenly, a warm energy was generated from the elixir field, circulating through Lin Fan's entire body's muscles and veins. The comfort made him unconsciously close his eyes. Continuing. Lin Fan will bring up the weapon exchange interface again. Just you, Heaven Sword. Lin Fan swept around and chose the Heaven Sword, which cuts iron like mud. Of course, there are more and better weapons, such as Shenyuan Divine Sword, Pangu Axe, Rui Golden Hoop Stick, and so on, but those with more points are simply astronomical numbers. Lin Fan looked at the pitiful 450,000 points in his hand and was only envious of artifacts. The best choice now was the Heavenly Sword, which cost 400000. Do the task. Earn points. Thinking of the artifact elixir on the exchange interface, Lin Fan suddenly became excited. In short, as long as you have enough points, become immortal, immortal, and so on, any requirement can be met by the system. Anan, let's publish the task. Yes, master. Ding, the deer and cauldron mission is being generated, ding, task 1. Kill Aobai. Ding, task 2. Kill the leader of the divine dragon sect, Hong Antong. Ding, Yu Yu reading www.uukangshu.net task 3. Kill Wu Sangui. Ding, task 4. Conquer the divine dragon sect. Ding, task 5. Conquer the heaven and earth society. Ding, task 6. Ascend the throne and proclaim oneself emperor. System prompt. Complete at least three tasks before leaving the world of deer and cauldron. The task is not simple. Lin Fan's mouth curved into a smile. There was no timidity, on the contrary, blood boiled. A person who is not reckless wastes their youth. A life without challenges cannot be exciting. In a moment, Lin Fan closed the virtual interface of the system. Looking up into the distance, there is a city. Without hesitation, Lin Fan used his internal power, and suddenly this force made his whole body extremely comfortable, and he felt that his body had become much easier. With a swish of his internal strength, Lin Fan's body quickly swept towards the city wall. Uncle, I don't know what kind of territory this is. On the post road, Lin Fan stopped a farmer carrying a pole and wearing a bamboo hat. The farmer was busy on his way and raised his head when he heard the sound. Lin Fan also saw his face clearly. He was in his thirties, with a weathered face, clearly a simple and honest person who often suffered from the wind and sun. You, you, you. What Lin Fan didn't expect was. After seeing himself, the farmer had a frightened expression on his face, as if he had seen a monster. Without saying a word, he threw away his pole and ran away. Dot. Lin Fan was confused. He touched his face, big brother. He just took the beauty repair pill, so handsome that he looks disheveled. Is the aesthetic standards of the Qing dynasty different from those of modern people? Lin Fan shook his head, feeling confused and then continued walking towards the city wall. Chapter 2 
Yangzhou City. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The closer you get to the city wall, the more pedestrians there are. At this moment, Lin Fan could also see the large characters on the city wall, with strokes of dragons and snakes. Yangzhou City. Lin Fan plans to go directly to the city. At this moment, many people around noticed Lin Fan, who suddenly panicked and quickly dispersed. What? Lin Fan was even more puzzled and couldn't help but touch his head, picking up a head of thick black hair. Looking at the scattered crowd around, they were all bald with only a small braid left in the back of their head. Suddenly, Lin Fan suddenly realized. No wonder, seeing me is like seeing a plague god, afraid to avoid it. That's why. The Qing army entered the central plains, leaving behind an iron rule. Leave hair but not hair, leave hair but not law. Lin Fan's current head shape is dark and thick, with a proper Ming dynasty hairstyle. Isn't it a blatant confrontation against the Qing court to show off in this way? Come and grab me with all your face on. I am a villain. These ordinary people are obviously afraid of being implicated and labeled as colluding with the rebels. In the current situation of the Qing dynasty, it has always been peaceful to kill without letting go. So seeing Lin Fan is like seeing the god of plague. Good guy, do you want me to shave a rat tail hairstyle? Lin Fan was speechless in his heart. At this moment, a noisy scene arose, and waves of footsteps came from far to near. Hurry up. Catch that villain. Don't let him run away. Lin Fan heard the sound, but saw dozens of Qin soldiers running from the city gate, each holding red tassels. The momentum is fierce. That's him. Brothers, kill me. Kill. Kill kill kill. One by one, they roared fiercely and rushed towards Lin Fan, their eyes full of killing intent and greed. Killing rebels is a great achievement, and one can earn a considerable reward. Seeking death. Lin Fan's face also darkened, with a hint of excitement. My own strength is finally going to come in handy. It's just the right time to train my skills with these Qin soldiers. The Qin soldiers rushed in, without saying a word, and their red spears pierced straight away. Lin Fan's eyes sparkled with brilliance, and the rapidly piercing spearhead was as fast as a turtle in his eyes. He leaned slightly to one side, grabbed the barrel of the gun directly, and then swung back and kicked it out with his leg lifted. With a bang, a Qing soldier was immediately kicked out. Pushi. He fell to the ground and spewed out blood, fainting to death. Ding, defeat one Qing soldier and reward ten points. A voice rang out in Lin Fan's mind. System, defeating enemies can earn points. Yes, master, defeating and killing enemies can earn points. The stronger the opponent's strength, the more points they will earn. With only ten points, Lin Fan glanced at the Qing soldier who had fainted in disappointment. At this moment, another Qing soldier stabbed in, and Lin Fan directly faced the gun and easily dodged, then kicked away. With a bang, a group of Qing soldiers were instantly kicked away, followed by a group of Qing soldiers being smashed away. Ding, defeat one Qing soldier and reward ten points. Ding, defeat one Qing soldier and reward ten points. The sound of system reward points keeps ringing. Although these Qing soldiers were numerous, they lacked decent experts and were a group of living targets in front of Lin Fan, not opponents at all. Before and after, it only took more than ten minutes. More than thirty Qing soldiers were all thrown to the ground by Lin Fan, without even a chance to escape. Lying on the ground one by one, wailing, looking at Lin Fan's gaze, full of fear and disbelief. I originally thought that I would catch a remnant of the previous dynasty and receive a reward to go to Lichun Academy to have a happy time, but unexpectedly, I encountered a tough problem. Lin Fan stood still, only hearing the sound of increasing points in his mind. With a faint smile on his face, Lin Fan immediately lifted his foot and walked towards Yangzhou City. Do you dare to leave your name? At this moment, 
the Qin soldier lying on the ground, one of whom covered his chest and bravely looked at Lin Fan who was about to leave. Lin Fan snorted coldly, I won't change my name while going down, I won't sit down, Lin Fan. After speaking, he walked straight towards Yangzhou City. Lin Fan. The Qing soldiers on the ground looked at me and I looked at you, looking bewildered. With such strong skills, theoretically speaking, one should not just be an unknown person. Even if it's not as famous as Chen Jinan, Feng Shifan, and others, at least it's still well dot known far and wide, so it's not even unheard of. This villain is extraordinary. Let's go and notify Lord Ao. Several Qing soldiers looked at each other face to face. Lin Fan swaggered into Yangzhou City. Looking left and right, I saw the people around me seeing me scattered one by one, as if Lin Fan was a plague god. The people were hesitant and afraid of causing trouble. Lin Fan was somewhat speechless, but he understood. On the tenth day of Yangzhou and the third slaughter of Jiading, what the people fear is not themselves, but the Qin court. His attire, combined with his thick black hair, can definitely be defined as anti-Qin and anti-traitor. Being treated as a plague god to avoid is actually nothing but normal. Continuing. Lin Fan walked to a deserted alley and exchanged a set of Qing dynasty costumes and a cloak from the system. A circular cloak with black gauze hanging down all around, perfectly covering Lin Fan's entire face. Lin Fan walked out. Then continue walking on the street. Although his current attire is a bit strange and has attracted the attention of many pedestrians, he is not as I dot catching as before and has been mistaken for a villain. After more than a decade of development, the city of Yangzhou has regained some vitality. After all, a massacre in the past left Yangzhou empty, and a city was directly reduced to ruins, with nearly a million deaths and injuries among the people, a devastating situation. It's not easy to be like today. Lin Fan has become accustomed to modern cities on Blue Star. At this time, he is in the ancient city of Yangzhou, which has a unique charm. The vendors walked along the way, and the sound of selling around could be heard incessantly. The traffic was bustling and bustling. Suddenly. At this moment. Lin Fan heard a sound of neat footsteps, accompanied by cheers, constantly coming towards this side. Search, search for me. That bandit is still in Yangzhou City, make sure to find him for me. From afar, Lin Fan saw pairs of Qing soldiers running towards him. I'm sorry. These Qing soldiers' movements are quite fast. Lin Fan was somewhat surprised. Then he turned around and walked towards other places. I don't want to deal with these Qing soldiers, after all, their purpose is to complete system tasks and not to cause unnecessary trouble. Stop. That's you. With a cloak on, stop me. Just as Lin Fan was about to leave, a sharp-eyed Qing soldier saw Lin Fan dressed strangely and shouted loudly. Lin Fan was too lazy to pay attention and quickened his pace to leave. Hurry up. Catch him. With a command, in an instant, a group of Qing soldiers chased after Lin Fan. However, with their strength, if they want to catch up with Lin Fan, they probably will have to spend the next life. Lin Fan turned left and right, and soon threw these Qing soldiers far away. Come and play. Grandpa, come and play. Master, please come this way. Shixia Bao, where have you been fooling around? Hurry up and help out, welcome the guests. Dot. Lin Fan followed the sound and was momentarily taken aback. He looked up and saw a brothel at the entrance. Write three big characters on it. Li Chuan Tower. Chapter 3. First Meeting with Wei Xiaobao. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Li Chuan Tower. Lin Fan's eyes lit up. Yangzhou City, Li Chuan Tower. Isn't this the birthplace of Wei Xiaobao? Just now, the madam called out Xiaobao. That's right, it seems like this is it. 
Lin Fan smiled and said that in order to complete the system task, the most important thing is to find the key plot characters. Now that everything is ready, it's time to show off on your own. Through the black veil of the cloak. Lin Fan saw a young man, aged 16 or 17 years old, with clear eyebrows and beautiful eyes, and his movements and expressions exuding a ruffian aura. At first glance, it looks like a little thug who has been in a romantic and humorous place for a long time. Is this the protagonist in The Deer and the Cauldron, Wei Xiaobao? Yang Zhou Lichuan Courtyard, also known as Xiaobao, seems to have run away. Lin Fan smiled. Wei Xiaobao has not yet entered the capital, which means that the plot has not yet fully unfolded. So, there is even more room for oneself to play. Lin Fan pondered for a moment and began to calculate. This world is not simply a feudal dynasty. Strictly speaking, with a court and organizations like the Heaven and Earth Society and the Divine Dragon Sect, it can be considered a low martial world of half martial arts and half dynasties. In that case, Lin Fan's plan is to start with Wei Xiaobao and see if there are any breakthrough points. After all, in the world of Deer and the Cauldron, Wei Xiaobao is the character who triggers the key plot. It's definitely right to follow him first. Thinking of this, Lin Fan turned his gaze to Li Chuan Courtyard. Let's stay for now. Lin Fan arrived at the back door of the Li Chuan Courtyard. The wall, several meters high, was nothing to Lin Fan, and he easily climbed into it. In no time, Lin Fan found a relatively remote place. The geographical location of this place is very good, not attracting attention, and it can also monitor the dynamics of various rooms in Li Chuan Courtyard. And shortly after Lin Fan entered the room, a sound suddenly came from the neighboring room. Lin Fan's ears twitched slightly, and the sound came clearly into his ears. Xiao Bao, you damn kid, you always know how to gamble and don't know how to learn well. Are you trying to anger me, said a woman's voice. Ah, Chunhua sister, I'm making a lot of money. Think about it, when I make a lot of money, will I buy a big house? Then I can take you in, Chunhua sister, and show you filial piety, right? A man's voice sounds very young. Hee <laughs> hee, that's right. Have you made any money? Me, isn't it that I'm not lucky? When I'm lucky, I can definitely make a lot of money. You stinky kid, you never change your character. You know how to gamble and see if I don't kill you. Oh, Miss Chunhua, it hurts so much. You're going to tear off my ear. I heard the commotion coming from the next room. Lin Fan was somewhat surprised. I didn't expect to be so lucky to have chosen such a good position and live next door to Xiaobao's mother. Lin Fan, in order to confirm, quietly opened the door slightly and stared through the crack. Not for a while. A young man of 16 or 17 years old walked out of the neighboring room. It was the young man who was called Xiao Bao that I saw at the entrance of Li Chuan Courtyard before. Wei Xiao Bao. It's really him. Next, Lin Fan rested in the room and occasionally paid attention to the dynamics of the neighboring room. After more than half an hour, suddenly, a noisy sound came from outside. Many Kiln sisters were clamoring and running towards the back of Li Chuan courtyard in panic. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let me search carefully. No one is allowed to leave. Violators will die. Through the crack in the door, Lin Fan saw a group of Qing soldiers wielding long spears and machetes, with a fierce momentum, filling the entire Li Chun courtyard. So quickly, did you find me? Lin Fana hesitated for a moment. With his skills, those Qing soldiers chasing him couldn't even see his shadow. Why did they come to his door so quickly? Lin Fan grabbed onto his cloak and prepared to kill him. Although he doesn't want to cause unnecessary trouble, he won't back down if the trouble insists on chasing you. At this moment, the madam of Li Chuan courtyard walked towards the Qing soldiers with the help of several girls. Oh my, what kind of wind is it today? It's surprising that Mr. Shi Jun has been invited. 
What are the girls still waiting for? Hurry up and pick up the guests. The madam's face was full of laughter as she looked at the burly scarred man at the leader. Then, she immediately gave a glance to the girls next to her who were showing off their talents. The military master is tired. Let us sisters serve you well. Several charming girls twisted their small pretty waist and walked past. Get lost. But seeing that Shi Junyi had a fierce look in his eyes, he immediately dismissed the girl and then, with a gloomy face, swept towards the madam. Let me ask you, did a guest come to your Lichuan courtyard today? He has a fierce face, a beard, and a leg injury. Upon hearing this, the madam's face immediately changed and she shook her head, saying, Lord June, even if I had eaten the bare heart leopard gall, I wouldn't dare to invite the injured person to the Lichuan courtyard. You misunderstood me. Yeah. Yeah. Yang's mother said yes, although we love money, we cherish our lives and never dare to entertain those rebels. That's right, that's right. Shi Junyu was too lazy to pay attention, so he waved his hand and suddenly some Qing soldiers burst into the room to search for people. At this moment, a Qing soldier leaned forward and whispered a few words in Shi Junyu's ear, while reading at UU reading www.uukangshu.net. But seeing a fierce gleam in Shi Junyu's eyes, he once again said in a deep voice, Have you ever seen a former criminal with strange attire and hair? As soon as these words were spoken, the madam and others were all frightened and their hearts were pounding with fear. No, no, we absolutely dare not take in the remnants of the previous dynasty. The madam shook her head, her face turning pale with fear. Joking, not reporting the remnants of the previous dynasty is equivalent to plotting rebellion which is a great crime of beheading and executing the nine tribes. In the room, Lin Fan stared at all of this, his eyes slightly narrowed. It seems that these Qing soldiers did not come specifically to find themselves. Lin Fan glanced around and muttered, Is there anyone else hidden in this Lichuan courtyard? It's a bit interesting. And at this moment. Suddenly. Bang bang. The Qing soldiers who went to search for people were kicked down from the second floor and fell heavily to the ground, howling in sorrow. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect you guys, Chingo, to have a pretty good nose. Not long after I came here, you smelled my scent and came over. You are truly a dog maker. You are a professional. A rough voice came from the second floor. Mr. Sher Jun raised his head and his face became gloomy and fierce. Mao Shiba, you have committed murder, escaped from prison, and committed crimes. If heaven does not accept you, I will accept you. If you are sensible, kneel down obediently and accept the punishment to avoid the suffering of flesh and skin. He he he, just because you dogs want to catch your grandpa Mao, you have delusions. Come and kneel down for him. If grandpa Mao is happy, he will reward you with a few lumps to try, ha <laughs> ha. Seeking death. Toasting, not eating, and punishing. Shi Junyi's face darkened and he said, Kill me. Kill me. Is this special also okay in Chapter 4? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Kill. Suddenly, rows of Qin soldiers, wielding their machetes, fiercely charged towards the second floor. Lin Fan's face was light and indifferent. Wei Xiaobao's first brother, Mao Shiba, is this guy. According to the deer in the cauldron, Wei Xiaobao went to the capital and then entered the heavenly and earthly society, starting a series of plots guided by Mao Shiba. According to the current plot development. Soon, there should be two more people coming to assist Mao Shiba. One is called Imo Yundao Wu Dapeng, and the other is called Lu Yun Yan Wang Tan. Lin Fan's gaze immediately fell on the military master surname Shir. According to the original work, he should be the Black Dragon Whip Shir Song. Sure enough. Quickly, as Lin Fan had imagined, Mao Shiba's helper, Wu Dapeng, and Wang Tan, joined forces and were unable to compete with the Qing soldiers for a moment. Hmm. 
Lin Fan's gaze kept fixed on the second floor when he suddenly saw that Wei Xiaobao was holding a slingshot and hiding behind the wall pillar, secretly scanning below. The next moment, he suddenly opened his slingshot and shot out. With a loud bang. Suddenly, a Qing soldier was ambushed, covering his face with a scream. Then, one of them dodged in time and was directly stabbed by Mao Shiba next to him. He he, hit. Hit. Wei Xiaobao looked excited. Lin Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. Wei Xiaobao was indeed extraordinary. If an ordinary person had seen this bloody scene, they would have avoided as far as possible. It shows that he has an extraordinary courage. On the other side, Mao Shiba and his three companions were both large and retreating. In no time, they broke out of the Lichun courtyard. Lin Fan saw Wei Xiaobao secretly following him out, so he followed closely behind. As the protagonist of the deer and the cauldron, Wei Xiaobao can quickly find the target character and complete system tasks with him. Lin Fan ignored Mao Shiba and just stared at Wei Xiaobao. I saw Wei Xiaobao sneakily take a bamboo basket and, when a Qing soldier was not paying attention, forcefully put it on his head from behind. The bottom of the bamboo basket shattered directly, revealing the heads of the Qing soldiers. Then, Wei Xiaobao grabbed a handful of pepper and casually wiped it onto the face of the Qing soldier. He chuckled and quickly ran away. I'll kill you. The Qing soldier's face turned red. I don't know if it was spicy or if anger surged up. With a loud roar, I suddenly opened the bamboo basket and it split into pieces. Then, wielding his knife, he chased after Wei Xiaobao. Wei Xiaobao was startled and quickly ran to the side. However, in a panic, I stumbled on something and suddenly fell and ate dog poop, turning around, the Qing soldier with a knife was already approaching. The Qing soldier couldn't help but show a fierce smile when he saw Wei Xiaobao fall. Little bunny, dare to harm your grandfather and die for me. Swung his knife and struck straight down. Wei Xiaobao panicked and quickly squatted back. With a bang. A knife struck the ground, splashing sand and stones. I see where you're hiding. The Qing soldier swung down again. Lin Fan looked speechless in the dark. If you don't die, you won't die. However, Wei Xiaobao cannot kill him now. If he dies, the plot will become chaotic. Lin Fan picked up a stone and threw it out directly. A whoosh, imperceptible sound of breaking through the air, did not catch anyone's attention. Wei Xiaobao was so scared that he couldn't dodge this blow. He quickly closed his eyes and secretly regretted it. However, the imagined pain did not come. He couldn't help but open his eyes, but saw that the Qing soldier's eyes were wide open, his eyeballs were protruding, he was glaring at himself angrily, his mouth was laughing, his face was extremely terrifying, and he couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. But the next moment, the Qing soldiers fell down directly. Wei Xiaobao was so scared that he screamed uncontrollably. However, in the next moment, the cry came to a sudden halt, as if someone had grabbed his throat. The next second, the Qing soldiers with knives directly hit him. Wei Xiaobao's eyes popped and his eyeballs turned downwards. Then, he let out a heart-wrenching scream, his head tilted and he fainted. Lin Fan on the side couldn't help but be stunned. He scanned his eyes and saw the long sword in the hands of the Qing soldier, as if it had been swiped past Wei Xiaobao. Seeing this coincidence, Lin Fan couldn't help but be taken aback. Is this special enough? He speechlessly reached out and threw the Qing soldier away, looking at it, it was unbearable. Without roots, now Wei Xiaobao has become a eunuch. Lin Fan shook his head. He had just thought of saving his life and had no intention of plotting against Wei Xiaobao at this moment. I didn't expect it to turn out like this. For some unknown reason, Lin Fan suddenly felt a sense of accomplishment in his heart, and the corners of his mouth under his cloak couldn't help but curl slightly. Exchange a bottle of powerful aphrodisiac for me. Lin Fan's communication system. 
Wei Xiaobao passed out in a coma, but he was bleeding profusely. Don't die again, that's really a pity. If the plot is disrupted, it won't be good. Ding, one bottle of powerful aphrodisiac medicine costs ten points. Lin Fan flipped his hand and suddenly, a porcelain vase appeared in his hand. He opened the cork of the bottle and poured it all down towards Wei Xiaobao's wound. This powerful aphrodisiac is different. After pouring it on, the blood stops flowing. Produced by the system, it is indeed a masterpiece. Lin Fan smiled and then looked towards Mao Shiba. The black dragon whip, Shir Song, had already been beheaded by Mao Shiba on his horse. As soon as the leader died, the Qin soldiers immediately scattered and fled. Lin Fan smiled slightly and stood up directly to leave. Unexpectedly, Wei Xiaobao was castrated at the beginning of the game, which is really a big trick in the world. After the commotion caused by Mao Shiba, the entire city of Yangzhou began to be on alert. The entire avenue, the portrait of Mao Shiba, and the streets and alleys covered with stickers are everywhere. In addition to the portrait of Mao Shiba, there is another painting beside him. However, one can see that the person depicted in the painting has sword eyebrows and starry eyes, a nose like a hanging gallbladder, and a heroic aura. Especially, that's different from the current hairstyle, it looks handsome and compelling. Who is this person? Lin Fan. I haven't heard of this name before. Judging from this hairstyle, it is indeed a remnant of the previous dynasty. Shu, someone heard us, we're going to have bad luck. The onlookers whispered and whispered to each other. Lin Fan saw his portrait and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. Unexpectedly, the painting was pretty good, but it had a slight resemblance. Shaking his head, Lin Fan turned around and left. Meanwhile, he has been secretly following Wei Xiaobao. On that day, Mao Shiba took Wei Xiaobao away after killing Shi Song. Just thinking about it, Mao Shiba, although he has well-developed muscles and a very simple mind, is very loyal to others. Wei Xiaobao helped him clear the dog, although he thought he didn't need it. However, Wei Xiaobao was injured for this, so he naturally wouldn't leave it unattended. Lin Fan originally thought that Wei Xiaobao could not enter the capital again after this incident. Unexpectedly, three days later, Wei Xiaobao still entangled Mao Shiba and asked him to take him to the capital. Lin Fan thought for a moment, perhaps he wanted to stay away from this sad place. After all, he has become a true eunuch now, and if he doesn't enter the capital, his life will be so mediocre. He wants to achieve something in the capital. Since Wei Xiaobao has decided to go to Beijing, if everything is expected, there should be no deviation in the following plot. Chapter 5 Winning the System First Prize You are listening at NovelFull.audio Thinking of this, Lin Fan also has no intention of staying here any longer. So he got a good horse and rode straight towards the direction of entering the city. At the intersection of the wind and clouds in the capital, there are hidden places such as the heavenly and earthly meeting, the Mu Prince's mansion, and the remnants of the previous dynasty. Lin Fan naturally couldn't miss it. He kept going all the way, and after nearly ten days, he finally arrived in the capital. Leading the horse, Lin Fan looked at the inn in front of him. Stay for now. He looked up and walked forward. Seeing Lin Fan, a waiter immediately welcomed him. Waiter, prepare a high dot quality room for me, feed my horse with high dot quality grass, and then prepare a table of wine and vegetables for me to deliver to the room. Lin Fan threw a bag of silver directly to the shop assistant. Okay, okay, guest, please come inside first. Lin Fan stepped in, and then someone led him into a top dot quality wing room. In no time, a table full of delicious dishes was sent into the room. Lin Fan nodded in satisfaction and casually threw a bag of silver to the shop child. Don't disturb me if you have nothing to do. Okay, if you have any instructions, just let me know. I'll go ahead and get busy. The shop assistant left happily. This pile of silver is worth his one month's salary. 
With the system in place, Lin Fan naturally doesn't lack silver. He can exchange ten tails of silver for just a few points, and doesn't care at all. After a delicious meal, Lin Fan was in a great mood. In ancient times, although life was not as good as modern times, there was a certain taste. Having had enough to drink and eat, Lin Fan lay in bed to rest. Upon waking up in the afternoon, Lin Fan yawned and stood up to open the window. Under the window is the main road, bustling with people and traffic. It's really lively. Spread it out. Spread it out. Lord Ao has returned to Beijing. Scatter. Everyone scatter. Don't block Lord Ao's path. Just then, a commotion came over. The crowd around suddenly panicked and dispersed towards both sides. Aobai. When Lin Fan heard the shouting and cheering, he was immediately refreshed. In the system task, there is killing Aobai. Thinking of this, Lin Fan smiled at the corner of his mouth and scanned downwards. A moment later, a large group of people and horses rushed towards this place. Lin Fan's eyes flashed with a hint of brilliance. I saw the leader, with a burly figure, a bearded face, a fierce appearance, and a body full of evil energy. There is indeed a seven or eight point similarity between Su Jinjiang's portrayal of Ao Bai in the movie, Star Lord. This person must be undoubtedly Ao Bai. Ao Bai, Ao Bai, if the system wants you to die, then don't blame me. Lin Fan scanned towards Ao Bai with an indifferent expression. Lin Fan doesn't have much favor towards Ao Bai, this treacherous minister. And completing system tasks can earn you a lot of points. For Lin Fan, Ao Bai is not just a person, but also a walking point. Just as Lin Fan looked at Ao Bai, below him, Ao Bai seemed somewhat alert. He suddenly swept towards Lin Fan's side, his eyes full of malice. Lin Fan's eyes narrowed. Only experts can perceive such sensitivity. I have been staring at him all the time, which has indeed made him alert in his heart. Anti-thief. Aobai's heart froze as he could feel the gaze under his cloak constantly falling on him. In the capital, few people dare to glance at themselves like this, but this person is staring at them from beginning to end, surprisingly not afraid at all. This person is not simple, it is very likely to be a rebel. Thinking of this, Ao Bai's eyes flashed with killing intent. At the next moment, Ao Bai slapped his warhorse and flew straight up to the second floor. Without saying a word, he directly punched Lin Fan with a pair of iron fists. Hee hee, it's great. A cold light flashed in Lin Fan's eyes. Grandpa didn't come to see you, but instead you took action first, just in time to clean up you and complete the system task. Ao Bai's punch is incredibly powerful. If it were an ordinary person, they would probably be able to pass through their chest at once. Lin Fan remained calm and shouted, Die for me. Immediately, the body's strength rapidly moved and they met each other with their fists. With a loud bang, the two fists intersected, and their strength erupted, causing the surrounding tables and chairs to split into pieces. Lin Fan stepped back three steps, his fists tingling slightly. He didn't expect Ao Bai's strength to be so impressive. On the other hand, Ao Bai was directly beaten down by Lin Fan. After Ao Bai landed, he retreated four or five steps in a row before finally being able to stop his body. What? Surprisingly so strong. Ao Bai's face was a bit gloomy, but he was a bit careless and didn't do his best. Indeed, he is a villain. Then, Aobai let out a loud shout. Just now, their fists met, and the black veil on their cloak was blown up, revealing Lin Fan's hidden hair. It's not the hairstyle of the Qing dynasty, it must be the remnants of the previous dynasty. And Taiyu, Grandpa. Lin Fan retorted directly. Upon hearing Lin Fan's insults, Ao Bai's eyes immediately widened and his face became unusually fierce. With a clang, he drew out his long knife directly. Die for me. Ao Bai leaped forward and flew straight up, chopping towards Lin Fan. 
Lin Fan picked up the table next to him and threw it directly at Aobai, along with the unfinished food on it. With a bang. Aobai swung a knife and directly split the table in half, without affecting its speed. The long sword caught up with Lin Fan. Although Aobai looked a bit embarrassed when he was splashed all over with the soup, his fierce and fierce appearance was intimidating. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net Lin Fan dodged and took a few steps back. Heaven sword, give it to me. Lin Fan flipped his wrist and the heavenly sword immediately appeared in his hand. This is a slender silver white battle sword, shining with a brilliant light on it. It is incredibly sharp and cuts everything. It is truly a weapon that can be exchanged for 400,000 points. Lin Fan's eyes were bright, and he couldn't let go of the heavenly sword. Without time to take multiple glances, Lin Fan held the heavenly sword in his hand and directly swung it towards Ao Bai. Ao Bai's eyes flashed with a fierce and cruel expression. Like Lin Fan, the remnants of the previous dynasty, he has killed countless people in these years, at least tens of thousands. Thinking of this, he vowed to cut Lin Fan in half with one knife. But the next moment, white light flashed by. Then, with a crisp clang, the long knife in his hand snapped in response. Aobai was shocked and quickly hid. However, he still fell victim, but fortunately, he missed the crucial point. At this moment, Aobai's right shoulder to left abdomen was covered in a terrifying wound, with flesh rolling and blood dripping profusely. If it weren't for Aobai's timely evasion, he would have been cut in half by Lin Fan's sword. Ding, congratulations on the host's serious injury to Aobai, reward 50,000 points. Ding, congratulations to the host for seriously injuring the plot character for the first time. A prize draw will be awarded. Lin Fan smiled and couldn't believe that he could score 50,000 points by injuring Aobai. And fortunately, I also received the first reward from the system. Like the Qing soldiers he injured before, they only had a pitiful 10 points. Sure enough, the stronger the enemy, the more points they will earn after being injured. Thinking of this, Lin Fan's gaze towards Ao Bai immediately became even hotter. Injuring Ao Bai earns 50,000 points, what about killing? Chapter 6 Ache, The Beginning of Love you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Below, Albai vomited a few more mouthfuls of fresh blood. He scanned the wing on the second floor with a murderous intent in his heart. Go up. Kill him for me. Shame. It's a great shame. I think he is invincible on the battlefield. When he killed the Ming army, it was like killing a sheep. How could he have suffered such a big loss? The Qing army received orders and immediately began to encircle and kill. At this moment, Aobai was supported by several guards and prepared to leave first. Aobai Chingo, don't leave. You have the guts to fight against Grandpa Lin for 300 rounds. If Grandpa is afraid, don't call him Lin Fan. Upon hearing Lin Fan's clamor, Aobai was instantly enraged and his injuries worsened, spitting out several mouthfuls of blood again. Lin Fan, Grandpa, I will definitely kill you and execute your nine clans. He gritted his teeth and said a sentence, then Ao Bai fainted and was taken away by the guards, leaving quickly. Ao Bai wanted to leave, so Lin Fan naturally didn't want to let go. Just as they were about to catch up, a group of Qing soldiers immediately surrounded the entire hotel. Lin Fan didn't take this group of Qing soldiers to heart. They were just a group of small subordinates and couldn't stop his footsteps at all. However, as Lin Fan glanced away, his face slightly changed. Around the entire restaurant, besides the Qing soldiers holding machetes and spears, there were also many archers. Roughly estimated, there are at least several hundred archers. Not only that, Lin Fan even saw dozens of Qing soldiers holding bird guns aimed at this side. Lin Fan frowned. Although I have over a decade of skill, my skills are limited. With his current physical condition, he should not be worth a bird gun. Thinking of this, Lin Fan prepared to run away first. 
As for killing Aobai, he is not in a hurry. He is currently in the capital, and there are plenty of opportunities to meet Aobai. It's not too late to kill him again next time. Fortunately, this is a street, not an open area. Otherwise, being surrounded by a group of Qin soldiers holding bows, arrows, and bird guns would make it difficult for him to escape. I saw Lin Fan fly and kick a Qin soldier directly in the stomach, with a scream, and the Qin soldier immediately fell out. The Qin soldiers and civilians who smashed directly onto the stairs behind. The tremendous force suddenly made the Qin soldiers on the stairs unstable and rolled down the stairs. For a moment, the scene suddenly became chaotic. Watching the continuous influx of Qin soldiers, Lin Fan wielded the heavenly sword and was about to carve out a path of blood. At this moment, Lin Fan suddenly tightened his left wrist and was grabbed by someone. Lin Fan turned his head to look and was about to take action. Young Xia, come with me quickly. A sound came through. The voice is soft, gentle, and pleasant, it is a woman's voice. Lin Fan withdrew his sword at a critical moment. However, the visitor was dressed in a plain nun's robe, wearing a plain nun's hat, and her cheeks were covered in a light veil. Lin Fan even carefully examined the other person, but was suddenly pulled aside by her and walked towards the room that had just come out. Seeing the broken wall, the woman grabbed Lin Fan and rushed out directly. Wait a minute, there are archers outside. Lin Fan just wanted to remind that there are archers and frontline soldiers outside. If he rushes out like this, he will definitely be considered a living target. But the next moment, Lin Fan was stunned. As soon as he finished speaking, he felt a distance rise, and then he felt the wind blowing from his upper jaw. However, the building below quickly retreated, and the woman effortlessly took him with her and flew over to the opposite rooftop. Faced with roofs of varying heights, the woman's feet were as flat as ever. Lightness skill Lin Fan thought to himself that although he had more than ten years of martial arts skills, he had not learned lightness skills and still didn't know how to do it. It seems that my current strength is still insufficient. For safety reasons, I still need to improve my strength as soon as possible. After a while, the woman and Lin Fan fell down in a secret courtyard. In the courtyard, there are two more girls. These two women rushed forward when they saw the newcomer. Master. Lin Fan's eyes lit up as he looked at it. The woman on the left is dressed in a white long dress, only in her fifteenth or sixteenth grade. She is indeed very playful and charming, with naturally beautiful skin, pink and smooth like snow, and icy skin and jade bones, as if she is a little fairy from a painting. One word, beauty. The other woman, although also very beautiful by comparison, is not as good as the former. At this moment, Lin Fan's wrist was released, and he then looked at the woman who had saved him. He was dressed in a plain nun's robe, wearing a plain nun's hat, and covered in light gauze. Lin Fan couldn't see her clearly. But just by looking at her curved eyebrows and clear and bright eyes, one can tell that her appearance is definitely extraordinary. The next moment, Lin Fan saw her empty left arm and a bright light flashed through his head. One Armed Divine Nun, Nine Difficulties Abyss. Young Xia, do you know about me? A glimmer of light flashed in the woman's eyes, and her voice was gentle. Although one arm is missing, every move and gesture exudes an elegant and noble aura. The name of Shenny is unknown to anyone in the martial arts world, Lin Fan smiled. Nine difficulties of one armed god and I. Princess Chongzhen of the former Ming Dynasty. When the Ming Dynasty fell, a Zhou was beheaded by Chongzhen with one arm. Later, a Zhou became a monk and became known as Jionan. Unexpectedly, there was Abbas Jonan in front of me. These two little girls, needless to say, were her disciples, Ake and Aki. At this moment, Ku and A ah Chi looked at Lin Fan with a curious expression. Looking at the man brought by the master, dressed in a white robe, he appeared noble and gorgeous, wearing a cloak with a black veil covering his face, making it difficult to see clearly. 
However, the sharp sword in his hand was very dazzling, and at first glance it was one of the finest among the finest. Looking at the curious gaze of the three women in front of him, Lin Fan smiled and simply lifted his cloak to reveal his true face. I'm Lin Fan, thank you for your help, Abbas. Although Lin Fan doesn't need the other party's help, since the other party has taken action, basic etiquette is still necessary. The three of them were impressed by Lin Fan's true appearance. What a handsome person! Compared to the ugly hairstyle of the Manchu Tartars nowadays, Lin Fan's jet black hair, coupled with his already handsome appearance, is definitely the prince charming in the hearts of young girls. Ah Kun Ah Chi, two young girls, were at the age of their first love affair. When they saw such a handsome person, their eyes lit up and they couldn't help but take two more glances. One of them was careful not to bump and bump, causing the deer to jump wildly. Lin Fan saw the two little girls attracted by his charm and felt secretly proud. Even in this era, even if Pan and comes and shaves his bald tail braid, he will definitely not look much better. Lin Fan is definitely considered a first-class beautiful man in this time and space. Nun Jionan was mesmerized by Lin Fan's appearance, and a trace of nostalgia flashed in her eyes. Unconsciously, tears were already in her eyes. Obviously, Lin Fan's appearance reminded her of her former master. Ah Kun Ah Chi, the two little girls, were worried when they saw their master shed tears. They had never seen their master behave like this before. Upon hearing these words, Abbas Jonan immediately regained her senses and gently wiped away the tears from the corners of her eyes, facing Lin Fan. Seeing the young hero's appearance reminded me of some past events and made me lose my composure. Abbas Jonan shook her head. Akaki, go prepare some tea to entertain this young hero. Yes, master. Ake and Aki quickly walked towards the room. Lin Fan smiled and set the heavenly sword aside, then sat up on the stone bench in the courtyard. Chapter 7 Lottery You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Young Xia Lin's courage in assassinating Ao Bai on the street is truly admirable, said Abbas Junan. She has a good impression of Lin Fan. It's okay, it's okay, Lin Fan smiled without hesitation. At this moment, Ku and Ah Chi brought tea to Lin Fan. Thank you, Lin Fan instinctively said. Seeing Lin Fan so polite and courteous greatly increased Ake and Aki's liking. After all, in this era, women's status is pitifully low. Lin Fan's tone and attitude show great respect towards them, how could they not be happy? To be honest with Abbas, I just stayed in a shop today. When I heard someone say that Ao Bai has returned to Beijing, even if I look at this first warrior of the Qing dynasty. Lin Fan smiled bitterly and shook his head. Who knew, Ao Bai had a keen sense of perception. When he noticed that I was peeping, he would kill me without saying a word, so what happened later on? Lin Fan shrugged helplessly, but did not indicate that he did have any intention of killing Ao Bai. Upon hearing this, Abbas Jonan smiled and said, Ao Bai has innate divine power and is also the number one warrior of the Qing dynasty. His strength is extraordinary, and he naturally has a keen perception. Young Xia Lin is staring at him, and he can sense it from the bottom of his heart. Lin Fan smiled and nodded. What are your plans next, young Xia? Abbas Junan asked, Do you want to leave the capital? Ah Kun Ah Chi, the two sisters, also looked at Lin Fan. Lin Fan injured Ao Bai. It can be imagined that Ao Bai will never let Lin Fan go. Next, Lin Fan will definitely face the crazy search by Ao Bai. Continuing to stay in the capital is always in danger of exposure, and once exposed, being surrounded by Qin soldiers will definitely be extremely dangerous. Lin Fan shook his head and said, We can't leave the capital yet. Of course, you cannot leave. Many of the plots in the deer and the cauldron are unfolding in the capital city. I have to leave in a disheveled manner, isn't it impossible to complete the system's tasks? Moreover, Aobai is still here, and he has to kill Aobai to complete the system's tasks. 
Upon hearing this, Abbas Jonan smiled and said. Since that's the case, I won't advise you anymore. However, young Xiao Lin, be careful in all things. No matter how strong his personal strength is, he has no choice but to face the Qin army. Upon hearing this, Lin Fan nodded. Now, the Qing army has just entered the border for more than a decade and has not yet become as corrupt and corrupt as in the later period. Its combat effectiveness cannot be underestimated. After looking at the sky, Lin Fan stood up and said, It's getting late. I'll bid farewell first. If there's a chance in the future, I'll come back to thank Abbas for helping me. Nun Junan said, Since that's the case, I won't take you in anymore. Be careful with everything. For Lin Fan's Ming Dynasty attire, Abbas Jonan feels close to him from the bottom of her heart. Ache, go see off young Xia Lin, said Abbas Jonan. Ah, yes, master. Upon hearing this, Ache was momentarily taken aback and quickly agreed. Lin Fan smiled slightly, put on his cloak, covered his appearance, picked up his heavenly sword, and stood up to leave. Ake followed behind. Walking to the door, Lin Fan turned around. Miss Ake, please stay. Ake stopped and looked at Lin Fan, young master, be careful all the way. The voice is crisp, delicate and gentle. Lin Fan smiled and suddenly felt a movement in his heart. He reached out and took out a brocade box, handing it to Ah Ku. I have something here, and I don't need it either. The beauty of the girl is something I've seen in my life. I'll give it to Miss Ake as a gift. Ake instinctively took it down. Lin Fan didn't say much when he saw this, just climbed over a wall and disappeared in an instant. When Ake realized that she wanted to refuse, Lin Fan's figure could no longer be found. Lin Fan's praise still rang in his ears. The beauty of a girl is something I have seen in my life. I couldn't help feeling happy in my heart. Ah Ku. Cool. Abbas Junan couldn't help but shout out when she saw Ah Ku standing motionless at the door. Master. Upon hearing this, Ake was startled and ran back with the brocade box in her arms. Junior sister, what is in your hand? Ah Chi couldn't help but wonder when she saw the brocade box in Ah Ku's hand. Upon hearing this, Abbas Jonan couldn't help but curiously glance at the brocade box in Ake's hand. Ake's cheeks were slightly hot, and she blushed and said. I don't know what it is, said young Xia Lin. You don't need it yourself, so you gave it to me. Then, before I could refuse, you left directly. Upon hearing that it was a gift from young Xia Lin, Chi couldn't help feeling a little envious. Junior sister, why don't you open it and take a look? Chi's big eyes flickered with curiosity. Upon hearing this, Ake hesitated for a moment, then placed the brocade box on the table and opened it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Chi was surprised and her eyes lit up. But it was a crystal necklace lying quietly in the box. The oval-shaped crystal pendant is warm and elegant, with large and small circles that blend together. Under the sunshine, brilliant colors are reflected, even if it is difficult to see and understand, one cannot help but be surprised. Not to mention Ake and Aki's two sisters, they both have small stars in their eyes. This item is too valuable. The next time you encounter young Xiao Lin, you should return it to him, Nun Jonan advised. Upon hearing these words, Ake felt a bit reluctant in her heart. However, he dared not disobey his master's words and could only respond with a hesitant tone, saying, Yes, master. Lin Fan left the small courtyard of Abbas Jonan and walked to a deserted place. Opened my personal information. Name. Lin Fan. Gender. Male. Age. 19, Combat Power. 750, Cultivation Level of a Second-Rate Warrior. 15 years of skill. Weapon. Heavenly sword. Points. 100,210 world. The deer and cauldron world. In this world, 
my strength cannot be considered a top-notch expert. It seems that it's time to improve and enhance my strength. Lin Fan murmured. Immediately, he received the heavenly sword into the system. The crystal pendant I just gave to Ake was just a temporary exchange for ten points. My own appearance is definitely handsome. Now that I have given Ake such a valuable gift, I don't believe it. In the future, when Ake meets that Jin Kishuang little white face, she will still fall in love with him. Shaking his head, Lin Fan put this matter behind him. In no time, he and Ake will have another chance to meet again. What is important now is to improve one's own strength. If it weren't for relying on the heavenly sword, I wouldn't have been able to harm Aobai. System, I injured Aobai before, did I get a chance for a free lottery? Lin Fan communicated with the system. Yes, master, you can draw at any time, and then replied. Lottery. Lin Fan laughed. A lucky draw requires one million points, but fortunately, I was lucky enough to win a free draw by injuring Aobai. I hope we can extract good things. Without hesitation, Lin Fan immediately opened the lottery interface. I saw a big wheel suddenly appear on the illusory interface. On it, the bite dance, and then four pedal interfaces are displayed. 1. A small pill can instantly restore major injuries. Exchange requires 2000 points, 2. Endless blade plus 80 combat power plus 25% critical strike chance. Exchange requires 300,000 points, 3. Take one Jiuzhuan de Huan Dan, regardless of the severity of the injury. After taking it, you can restore your peak state and increase your lifespan by 50 years. Exchange requires 800,000 points, 4. Obtain 50 years of skill and directly increase 2,500 combat power. Chapter 8 Is exactly below. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At the center of the large turntable, it displays. Click to confirm the lottery. Lin Fan is looking forward to the rewards of 1, 2, and 3, but he doesn't even look up to you. He is very envious of the fourth reward. If he can directly increase his skill by 50 years, then he will be invincible in the low martial world of Lu Ding Ji. System, can I directly select the fourth reward? Lin Fan communicated with the system. No, the lottery is random and the system cannot help. Anan replied, pausing for a second before continuing, however, this is the owner's first lottery and they can draw 100% of the options they want. Lin Fan's eyes lit up at the words. This system is also too user-friendly. Lin Fan grinned and thought about the option he had won. Then, determine the lottery. Ding, congratulations to the master for extracting 50 years of skill. The system beeps. Next second. Boom. Lin Fan suddenly felt a surge of strength emanating from within him out of thin air. Muscles and bones, as well as the five organs and six internal organs, are constantly strengthened at this moment. Screaming the sound of blood flow, like the rolling waves, kept exploding inside Lin Fan's body. Shuang. Lin Fan exclaimed with satisfaction, his eyes opened, and there was a flicker of brilliance. He opened his personal information to check. Name. Lin Fan. Gender. Male. Age. 19, Combat Power. 3250. Super First. Class Martial Artist Cultivation, 65 Years of Skill. Weapon. Heavenly Sword. Points. 100210, 65 Years of Skill. Lin Fan's lips curved into a smile. With his current strength, not to mention in the low martial world of Lu Ding Ji, even in the world of Tian Long Babu, he can definitely be considered a super expert. Feeling refreshed, Lin Fan's body moved and he stepped on his feet and punched. Pang. Suddenly, the earth shook. There was a loud explosion in the air. He punched out, but before his fist landed on the big tree in front of him, ten meters away, 
he saw a big hole in the tree as thick as a bucket being punched out by the force of his fist. Lin Fan is very satisfied with his current strength. Thinking that he didn't know lightness skills yet, he clicked on the exchange interface. Ding, congratulations to the owner for exchanging the snow treading traceless lightness skill secret script, which costs 50,000 points. Then, Lin Fan spent another 50,000 points to directly practice the perfect state of stepping on the snow without leaving a trace. Points, 210. Looking at the pitiful points, Lin Fan had a look of longing on his face. Now, our strength has improved. It's time to earn a wave of points. Lin Fan explored the direction and then quickly walked towards the direction of the Imperial Palace without leaving a trace in the snow. Taking one step, it was already ten meters away, and the speed was so fast that even Lin Fan was a bit surprised. Soon. Lin Fan arrived near the Imperial Palace. The palace is heavily guarded, but with Lin Fan's current martial arts skills, it is as easy as eating or drinking water to infiltrate. The Imperial Palace is so large that if someone is unfamiliar with it and comes rashly, it is very easy to get lost. Lin Fan spent 10 points to redeem a palace map, but there was no worry of getting lost. He came to the Imperial Palace with a simple purpose of going to the Sinaing Palace. Soon, Lin Fan arrived at the Sinaing Palace. That should be the room where the Empress Dowager lives. Lin Fan looked up. Then looking around, there were no other eunuchs or palace maids. Lin Fan walked directly towards the room and without saying a word, pushed open the door. What caught the eye was a middle-aged woman, elegant and luxurious, sitting upright in the room. Who? Dare to break into this palace's sleeping quarters and find death. The middle-aged woman's eyebrows furrowed as she heard the commotion, and a cold light shone through her beautiful eyes. She stared at Lin Fan and carefully examined her. Wearing a cloak, she couldn't see her face clearly, but the aura emanating from her body was extremely calm and composed, making her feel a little uneasy. Mao Dongju. Lin Fan casually said and closed the door. But seeing the Empress Dowager's face change greatly, she suddenly stared in her eyes. You, who are you? You don't need to know who I am, I'm here to ask you a few questions, Lin Fan said lightly. The words have just finished. Lin Fan only felt a flash of cold light in front of him, a sharp aura, and only hit his own face. He dodged lightly. However, Yu Guang saw a black iron thorn nailed to the door. He stood up straight, but when the palm wind struck, Mao Dongju hit Lin Fan with one palm. Lin Fan's eyes flickered with a cold light. Strike with one palm, then come first. I slapped Mao Dongju directly. With a loud bang. Mao Dongju let out a scream and was instantly knocked out. After landing, blood spurted continuously from the mouth. Mao Dongju felt as if her palm had hit a mountain, causing bone pain and a very domineering internal force rushing into her body along her arm, crazily disrupting her meridians. Mao Dongju's face changed greatly, and she quickly used her internal strength to suppress this internal force. Then, a few mouthfuls of blood spurted out. Under one palm, Mao Dongju was seriously injured. Ding, congratulations to the host for injuring Empress Dowager Mao Dongju and rewarding 30,000 points. Upon hearing the sound of the points ringing, Lin Fan smiled. Next second. Suddenly, Lin Fan's heart twitched slightly and with just one palm, he felt a cold and gloomy aura that was about to damage his bones and meridians. Hua Gu Mian Palm Lin Fan instantly knew the power of Mao Dongju's palm. However, with a cold snort, the body's qi and blood surged, instantly transforming the coldness within the body into invisibility. Empress Dowager Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu Net, just then, an anxious voice came from outside the house. Empress Dowager, are you okay? It turned out to be eunuchs and palace maids who heard a strange noise coming from the Empress Dowager's room and quickly came to inquire. 
Mao Dongju took a deep breath and looked at Lin Fan, who stood still like a mountain without saying a word, with a chill rising in her heart. Although she couldn't see the person's face clearly, she knew he was looking at her and felt a little timid in her heart. It's okay, don't disturb our palace. Yes, I'm leaving. Who the hell are you? Mao Dongju's eyes flashed with a hint of fear. That palm was too terrifying. Mao Dongju asked herself that her martial arts, even if placed in the sect, were beyond the reach of the leader of the Divine Dragon sect. Even the leader himself, Mao Dongju, had confidence that he could fight against the leader for a few rounds without losing. However, his full strength was defeated by this person's understated palm. The strength of this person's martial arts skills is also too shocking. Lin Fan, Lin Fan replied. There is nothing to hide, and there is nothing to hide. I am confident enough in my current strength. Lin Fan. Mao Dongju's eyes flashed with confusion. I have never heard of this name at all. Immediately, Mao Dongju thought of something and her expression shook. But today, Lin Fan was assassinated on the street and severely injured by Ao Bai. As the Empress Dowager, she naturally heard of the great news of Ao Bai's assassination. That's right, it's me. What do you want to know? Mao Dongju supported the table beside her and stood up. Where is the Divine Dragon sect? How many people are there in the Divine Dragon sect now? Where is your sect leader's wife now? Chapter 9 Goodbye Wei Xiaobao You are listening at NovelFull.audio When asked, there are three questions. This greatly changed Mao Dongju's expression. She snorted and said, Kill me, I won't answer your question. Are you not afraid of death? Lin Fan asked curiously. Upon hearing this, Mao Dongju smiled, but instead became indifferent. I'm afraid, of course I'm afraid of death, but I'm even more afraid of life than death. Lin Fan suddenly realized that it was so. He gave a gentle smile. If I'm not mistaken, you should have also been given the leopard fetal I Jing pill, right? Lin Fan said lightly, if the Divine Dragon sect finds out that you have leaked the secrets of the sect, they may not get the antidote. It's better to live or die then, right? What? Mao Dongju's face changed again, even more shocked. Who the hell are you? You even know about leopard fetal tendon pills. Leopard tire easy muscle pill is the highest secret of the Divine Dragon sect. It was the poison used by the leader of the Divine Dragon sect to control her subordinates, and she knew it was so confidential that she couldn't help but wonder about Lin Fan's identity. Lin Fan chuckled and playfully said, What if I can lift the leopard tire muscle easy pill from your body? What? Upon hearing these words, Mao Dongju's heart immediately jumped. Immediately, he lowered his mind and shook his head, saying, Impossible. The antidote to leopard fetal gene pill is not possessed by anyone except the sect leader and wife. Lin Fan didn't talk nonsense, he just thought about the communication system and pretended to take something on the surface. Anan, do you have an antidote for leopard fetal gene pill? How many points do you need? Returning to my master, the antidote to leopard fetal gene pill is 10 points per bottle. One bottle. Ding! Congratulations to the owner for exchanging a bottle of leopard fetal easy muscle pill as an antidote, spending 10 points. Lin Fan pulled out a small porcelain vase. Then pour out a pill and throw it to Mao Dongju. Mao Dongju took the pill, carefully examined it, and then sniffed it under her nose, her eyes suddenly brightening. The antidote to leopard fetal gene pill, how could you have it? Mao Dongju was extremely stunning. She has taken the antidote of Bao Tai E Jin Wan more than once, so she is naturally familiar with it. Every time a task is assigned, the leader will give her the leopard fetal muscle easy pill. As long as she completes the task, she will be given an antidote. So, she determined that 90% of this pill was a true antidote. I have given you the antidote now. Just take it and you can break free from the control of the Divine Dragon sect, 
Lin Fan said lightly. Thank you for the medicine. Mao Dongju looked at Lin Fan and her face changed. Immediately, she no longer hesitated and swallowed the pill in one gulp. Lin Fan wanted to kill himself easily, so he didn't want to do anything unnecessary. Mao Dongju did not doubt the authenticity of the pill. Now, answer the question. After taking the antidote, Lin Fan's indifferent gaze fell on Mao Dongju. Mao Dongju nodded. At this point, if she still doesn't appreciate it, there really is only one dead end left. After nodding, Mao Dongju turned around and tapped on the bedside twice, then opened a dark grid and took out a picture from inside. You only need to follow the instructions in this picture to find the location of Shenlong Island. Lin Fan nodded and took the map. In fact, Lin Fan had already communicated with the system on his way to the palace to exchange the map of Shenlong Island. However, the map only has a detailed map of Shenlong Island, and there is no route map to Shenlong Island. So, that's why we had this trip to the palace. Mao Dongju continued to answer. At the beginning of the establishment of the Shenlong sect, there were over 1,200 followers. However, in recent years, the leader's wife has been in power, promoting young followers and suppressing the elders within the sect, causing harm to many people. The number of members in the sect has decreased, but the overall number should still be a thousand. At this point, Mao Dongju's eyes flashed with displeasure. The leader of the sect supported his wife behind her back, and although they harbored resentment in their hearts, they were helpless. As for the wife of the sect leader, Mao Dongju's eyes flashed with a strange light. Yesterday, I just received a message from the leader's wife that she will come to the capital in a month. What is she doing in Beijing? Lin Fan was a little curious. Mao Dongju didn't hide anything. Assign me a new task and also send me the antidote. The last time she took the leopard fetal easy muscle pill, it was less than two months before the one. Year deadline. If she didn't take the antidote at the end of the year, the extremely fierce toxicity would erupt, making it impossible for her to survive or die. Every time, after taking it, I give another leopard tire easy muscle pill and repeat this process to achieve control. Very good. Lin Fan nodded. In a month's time, I will come to see you again, and then I will see your sect leader's wife. Lin Fan left this message and pushed the door directly. The next step is to appear tens of meters away. After a few steps, the figure disappeared. Mao Dongju saw Lin Fan's speed and immediately broke out in a cold sweat. This person's martial arts skills are unparalleled in his life. Thinking of what Lin Fan had said before leaving, Mao Dongju's eyes narrowed slightly and murmured, in a month. The sky is already dark, and Lin Fan is walking in the palace. With his current strength and the great perfection realm's snow treading lightness skill, no one can detect his trace. In the palace, there are many rooms, but there are even more vacant ones. He casually found one to stay temporarily. This visit to the Imperial Palace, Yu Yu reads www.yuyukangshu.net to find Mao Dongju, ask for the route map of Shenlong Island, and then go to conquer the Shenlong sect. This is one of the tasks of the system, and naturally cannot be missed. Of course, the dragon cult is just a small goal for him. Moreover, the Divine Dragon sect is in collusion with the great traitor Wu Sangui. When he subdues the Divine Dragon sect, he can also take care of Wu Sangui and complete another task in the system. There is also the task of subduing the Heaven and Earth Society. When he subdues the Divine Dragon sect and his prestige greatly increases, the task of subduing the Heaven and Earth Society will be much simpler. After the two major martial arts forces in the world belong, those second and third rate forces, big and small, will be even more effortless. At that time, the task of unifying the world and proclaiming oneself emperor will become natural. This is Lin Fan's next plan. And for over half a month, Lin Fan hid in the palace. When he was hungry or thirsty, he secretly sneaked into the imperial pantry for a stroll. Besides, the food in the palace was really good. In addition to boredom, 
he practiced and practiced. It must be said that at first Lin Fan did feel very bored, after all, this is ancient times, without a TV, Wi-Fi, or even an electric light. However, after adapting, it gave people a novel experience. In the palace, the past half-month has not been peaceful. Aobai was injured by Lin Fan, and Kangxi is not a fool. Naturally, he will not miss this opportunity. On the surface, he searched extensively for the killer of Aobai, but secretly, he wished to have Aobai executed immediately. Even the frequency of Aobai being assassinated has increased significantly, and Lin Fan coldly watches everything. Lin Fan originally planned to stay in the palace for a full month, and then meet with the wife of the head of the Divine Dragon sect before making plans. But unexpectedly, while wandering in the palace, I met an acquaintance, Wei Xiaobao. Chapter 10 Aobai Captured You are listening at NovelFull.audio Wei Xiaobao, he actually came to the palace. Lin Fan's eyes flashed with surprise, and at this moment, he saw two eunuchs in the distance. The young eunuch, led by Wei Xiaobao, walked ahead with a displeased expression on his face. Behind him was an old eunuch with his eyes closed, his face waxy yellow, and a hunched back coughing uncontrollably, as if he was seriously ill. He placed his hand on Wei Xiaobao's shoulder, apparently asking him to lead the way. Blind eunuch, is it Hai Da Fu? The deer and cauldron chronicle records in the plot that Hai Da Fu, an old eunuch, is very powerful. It's much stronger than Mao Dongju. It's interesting now. Lin Fan showed a faint smile. I didn't expect Wei Xiaobao to enter the palace so quickly and become a eunuch. It seems that the subsequent plot should be similar. In my impression, this Aobai was killed by Wei Xiaobao. However, we cannot let him succeed this time. If Wei Xiaobao were to kill Aobai, he would not be able to complete the system task. To kill Aobai, he would have to do it himself. Since Wei Xiaobao was discovered, Lin Fan naturally wanted to explore where the plot had developed now. Immediately after, Lin Fan followed Wei Xiaobao several times, only to find that this guy had already become acquainted with Emperor Kangxi. Lin Fan thought for a moment and it seemed that Kangxi had already made up his mind to eliminate Aobai. By adding Wei Xiaobao at this time, the day may not be too far away. Another week passed, and Lin Fan had not yet received the arrival of the wife of the leader of the Divine Dragon sect. However, he heard the news that Emperor Kangxi had summoned his minister Ao Bai in the study. Is Kangxi going to take action and eliminate Ao Bai? Lin Fan's first reaction was like this, and his thoughts turned. Ao Bai must not die in the hands of others, he must die in the hands of Lin Fan. This is a big wave of integration. Speaking of Aobai. Although he was wary of Kangxi, he never expected that Kangxi would dare to ambush a master in the palace and take him. In addition, Aobai was extremely confident in himself and had no idea that Kangxi would actually attack him in the palace, so he was momentarily careless. As expected, Ao Baijin was captured by Wei Xiaobao with a trick, just like the plot. Thinking of this, Lin Fan dared not delay, and the wind blew under his feet, quickly heading towards the study. When Lin Fan arrived at the study, he heard roars coming from inside. Your Majesty, why are you plotting to harm your ministers? I am a loyal minister, even if I die, I won't accept it. The Emperor personally killed the minister who cared for his life. The late Emperor learned that he would definitely not be able to labor you. Let go of me, you dog slaves, I'm going to kill you. A hint of surprise flashed in Lin Fan's eyes as Aobai was quickly subdued. In the study room, there were corpses lying on the ground in all directions. And in the middle, the person who was bound by various flowers, with seven or eight eunuchs working together to suppress him to the ground, constantly struggling and roaring, was none other than Aobai. Got it. Wei Xiaobao's face was full of excitement. At the same time, there is a feeling of surviving a disaster. Aobai is too fierce. 
If it weren't for him using incense ash to dazzle Ao Bai's eyes and using hallucinogenic drugs to disrupt Ao Bai's internal strength, today it would really be explained here. Behind Wei Xiao Bao was a young man of his age, dressed in a dragon robe. This young man is very distinctive, with a face full of pockmarks. He is the Emperor Kangxi. Xiao Gizi, thanks to you, if it weren't for you, how could I have taken this Aobai today? Kangxi patted Wei Xiaobao's shoulder and couldn't help but show excitement on his face. To the Emperor's great blessings. Wei Xiaobao smiled, but his voice became much sharper. Kangxi smiled and said, After handling this matter, I will reward you well. This time, apart from Aobai's great illness, Kangxi couldn't conceal his excitement. Upon hearing this, Wei Xiaobao immediately chuckled. And at this moment, with a loud bang, the wooden bolt behind the door of the study broke, and the door of the study was pushed open. Everyone in the room was suddenly startled. Who? Kangxi exclaimed in surprise. Those eunuchs rushed to Kangxi's front. Wei Xiaobao clenched the dagger in his hand and stared nervously at the door. Push and push. The steady footsteps, as if stepping on everyone's hearts, made everyone feel nervous. Aobai shook his head vigorously. Originally plotted by Wei Xiaobao, his eyes were sprinkled with incense ash. At this moment, with tears constantly washing away, he slowly opened his eyes. At this moment, everyone finally saw the figure of the newcomer. It's Lin Fan. Wearing a white outfit and a cloak, unable to see clearly. Dare, who are you? Dare to break into the palace. Wei Xiaobao trembled and let out a drink. Upon hearing this, Lin Fan smiled slightly. Ignoring Wei Xiaobao at all, he turned to Ao Bai. It's you. Ao Bai's heart tightened as he squeezed his eyes and shed cloudy tears. Lin Fan. Ao Bai gritted his teeth and shouted. He is familiar with Lin Fan in this outfit. Lin Fan injured him and ruined his reputation. These days, he has been searching for Lin Fan, hoping to devour him alive. Kangxi's heart tightened and he said, Lin Fan. A few days ago, Aobai was injured by the remnants of a previous dynasty named Lin Fan. At that time, he was still grateful for the remnants of the previous dynasty in his heart. But now that Lin Fan really appeared in front of him, it made Kangxi nervous. The remnants of the previous dynasty broke into the palace. Are you trying to assassinate him, the emperor? Lin Fan looked at Aobai and smiled, Aobai, your fate was good that day and I couldn't kill you. You can't escape today. Upon hearing this, Aobai's face changed greatly. Yu Yu struggled to get up and looked at Kangxi, shouting, Your Majesty, hurry up and bind me. I will help you kill the remaining sins of the previous dynasty and protect your life. Upon hearing these words, Kangxi immediately showed hesitation. Aobai was finally caught by him, he definitely can't let go. However, Lin Fan severely injured Aobai, it can be imagined that his martial arts skills are remarkable. Now, it's possible that only Aobai is left to wrestle with Lin Fan, can we let it go or not? Kangxi was hesitating when suddenly Lin Fan moved. With a loud bang. The rope on Aobai's body broke in response to the sound. But everyone saw a copper coin falling at the feet of Aobai. But Lin Fan used a copper coin to directly break the rope of Aobai across the air. Seeing this situation, eunuchs such as Kangxi and Wei Xiaobao were shocked and retreated in succession. After Aobai broke free from the rope, his fierce gaze turned to Kangxi Wei Xiaobao, and immediately scared the two of them to almost pee. But the next moment, Aobai let out a roar and turned his gaze directly towards Lin Fan. In Aobai's view, apart from Lin Fan, no one was his opponent on the field. As long as Lin Fan is eliminated first, he will have the final say here. A few days ago, he was injured because he was too careless. Just like this time, it was too careless to be caught by Wei Xiaobao's scheming and trickery. In terms of hard power, there are few people in the martial arts world who are his opponents. Lin Fan, Lin Fan, 
you actually helped me break the rope. It seems that you are very confident in yourself. Ao Bai sneered. Lin Fan also smiled and said, Ao Bai, next, I need you to help me. Help. Ao Bai was somewhat puzzled. Yes, help me earn points. 